right now. Now, we, the last video, this is a new class, uh, and the last class we talked about relative humidity. Now, I just want to mention dew point. Somebody look up on their phone the definition of dew point. Okay? Now, let me put on the board uh, a graph. Okay? Let me put on the board a graph. Okay? This is going to be the y-axis is going to be the mass in grams per 100 milliliters of water. This is going to be temperature. This is going to be this is going to be potassium nitrate. Okay? That's going to be potassium nitrate. Now, now, let's say I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay? That point tells me two things. It tells me at what temperature I have this material dissolved. You see that? Yes? Yeah. And if I drop the temperature, I'm going to drop the solubility of the water, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. So what happens if I have a solution with a lot of potassium nitrate dissolved in it, and then I cool the solution, what happens to the solute that was dissolved up here when I get down to the temperature here? What happens to the solute, the potassium nitrate that was dissolved? It becomes... Silence. They're stunned. Classroom of adolescence is silent. Amazing. What happens to the enormous amount of potassium nitrate that was dissolved in that water, in that water per hundred milliliters, when you get down to that temperature? What happens to the potassium nitrate? Want to show that, please? It drops out. It becomes undissolved. And in science, when something becomes undissolved, we say it. It what? Condenses. No. What's the word? It starts with a P. Pressure. No. Pressure, they're saying. Crispiration. We've got a lot of work to do. Precipitate. Precipitate. So the, so the potassium nitrate will precipitate out. What's dew point? Did you find it? Yes. Yep. It's what is it? Anybody? The Okay. Come, in, come on up here and just behind the camera, read off that definition. This is Emily. You're not going to see her face, but she's going to read off this definition right off the phone. Now, try to see if this makes sense relative to what I just did. Okay? Go. Dew point. Now, the atmospheric temperature varying accordingly to pressure and humidity below which water droplets begin to condense and dew can form. Okay? So dew is formed. So the temperature below which dew forms, the water comes out. So, so the temperature at which the water precipitates out of solution, where the air is the solvent and the water is the solute. So as I decrease, let's say that this is actually... It's not going to look like this particularly, okay? But let's say this is air, air, okay? So this is mass of water dissolved in air, we'll say. We'll just, we'll, we're making this up as we go along, okay? The idea is that this is temperature. High temperature, I can put in a lot more water into the atmosphere, correct? Yeah. Now. As I drop the temperature, I have less water, correct? So for this temperature, for that temperature, what's the dew point? What's the dew point? It's this. 
So anything below, the, anything above this line that was dissolved is going to come out of solution. So this is actually kind of like the, the saturation line. It's kind of a saturation graph where below that line, I can dissolve water. But anything above that line, anything that was here is going to come out of solution and form dew, D-E-W, delta, epsilon, what's W? Wait. Wood. Wood. Okay. So that's going to be the dew point. The dew is going to form. It's a condensation. You see it. Where do you see it oftentimes in the summertime? Where do you see it? On the grass. On the grass. Okay, the dew on the grass. Because during the day, you can dissolve a lot of water in the air, but at night, the dew point drops. What's that mean? In other words, it, yeah, the water precipitates out at a particular temperature. You get it? Make sense? Okay. Let's stop there and we'll come back and we'll make another one. We'll call this one dew point. Okay. So it's the point at which things are saturated. Clear? Yeah, clear.